Hello everyone, Anime Bad Guy here, August 31st. Sorry about not posting a video last week. I was going to post a video about me going to Collecticon in Richmond, Virginia, but I was not able to do that. I apologize. I didn't want to deal with the hassle of all the people there and then asking every person at the <laughs> forum if it's okay to record. Everyone was nice. I think it was really great. Setup was great. Um, so I enjoyed it. I got this shirt. Also got some stuff that I want to show you. Three boxes. But thank you everyone for joining me here today on August 31st. It's crazy. End of August. So I did pick up um, three boxes of Nazareth Overlord, which is um, one of my favorite Sekai's plus a character that is technically um, play it role plays as a bad guy I got three boxes of them the people selling them I wish I went to the first second vendor and bought them off from there they had a better price than the other vendor but when looking up on eBay I did get a cheaper than eBay price for the first one and then I bought two other boxes and I probably check out the site like um, of the store and I think they're located in North Carolina so when I go visit there in North Carolina I'll probably go check that out check that facility out so today I have a box opening of some good small figures and we we'll open up Za here too as well so I really appreciate everybody please subscribe leave a link like below we greatly appreciate it go to 5,000 and let's start. Look at this, this is crazy. I already took pictures of stuff, film it. Hopefully nothing destroyed. The delivery person, no joke, did not put this under my house roof. Left it to the side when it was raining. It's ridiculous. The box is damaged. Hopefully nothing's damaged, but we'll see together. Hopefully everyone's doing well. I know the economy sucks. It does suck bad. So a little wet here, hopefully, hopefully it's not. No, oh, that is a little hand. The figure is not damp, but <laughs> even the wrap is damaged right here, box bent, but no water damage, which is good. Wait, it might be water damage. No, it's it's uh it's drop damage, but Yuki Okamura, so long, blue exorcist, took forever for this to come. Uh, anime kind of died out when they released the anime. I don't think it did really well. I watched it; it was pretty enjoyable. I think that arc was supposed to be more. Uh, Impactful in the manga scene. But that's what happens when um, it's delayed so long. Also, the Nazar cards. I'm thinking about opening one box, but keeping the other two unopened. But are you guys interested in me opening packs? I don't know. If it is, leave a comment. I might do like shorts of me opening packs. Also, they announced um, One Piece live action. I'm glad that Oda's still going to be there. Because I think the creators need to be there. I don't trust. Um, oh, yes, Fern from Free Run. I need. I'm going to have to get um, another set of this Fern and. Um, Run, so I can open them. But I do like the little, yeah, the little, little emblem on this sign of fern. If you never watched this anime, please watch it. It's really, really good. Hopefully, they will announce season two soon. Maybe after winter, the beginning of spring. That will be coming out next year.
But as I was saying, yeah, One Piece season two. I'm glad Oda's part of it. It's strange when you don't have input. It's gonna be different. It's not gonna be the same. But there's certain concepts, and I think I like when people say it, pointing out there's certain things that need to be done. Yeah, Shion from Slime. Slime is really good. But back on the subject of uh, yeah, One Piece Season 2. I'm glad that Otis is part of it. Because you need to have direction in regards to making sure you have to make it a little different for most people so they can enjoy it. You can't make the same thing. If they get the same thing, you just watch the, the anime. Or the manga. You had a little, little difference, but Easter eggs or your know, little nuances are really cool. Like, suppose you're gonna add Bartholomew in the beginning, but it's not retconned because he was supposed to be there in the first place. So, at Log Town, so that's gonna be interesting just to try to see him there. Bonus pack. And it's free run. Oh yes. Oh no 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 no. Give me a nasty one. They got some weird tissue paper stuck to it. Free run. <laughs> this is so awesome. When they announced this, I definitely picked that up. Hopefully, they'll come out with um email for this and Android. They did have start. So hopefully I'll get that coming soon, but hopefully they announce, um, maybe there was a human, I don't know. I know they have the, the girl with the spear, but hopefully they'll, if they didn't announce him already, hopefully they'll announce a female. And also, um, the other people at the party, the four heroes. I keep on skipping One Piece, but yeah, One Piece. Could be interesting. Kind of interesting how they go to the giant thing. Hopefully it's not CG. Hopefully they'll do the screen where they just make the person look larger. But if they do CG, oh well, I guess they have to put money that way. But and another blue access, Rian Okamaro. I'm surprised they come with um, Kira, the black cat. They should have came with it unless they will come out with an Enderoid of the black cat. Kind of like for um, Persona, maybe? I don't know. But I doubt it. Look, it's just not that, not that popular. So I'm just glad that we got two figures representing that. But hopefully One Piece 2 is good. And then supposedly everyone talked about that season season three would be all Alabasca. So we'll see how that goes. A little bonus pack. And this is Leos from Dungeon Diner. I believe this one, they have all the characters, if I'm not mistaken, because I pre-ordered them for an Android phone, so. They're kind of these Nindo lights. I pre-ordered a couple of them. I guess they're Nindoroids, but they have less items in there. I guess they're trying to keep the price down. But... <laughs> One thing I think it's funny about, I'm not open, but the purpose of Nendoroids is not supposed to be light, it's just, you want to have characters with a lot of stuff, but I'm, my assumption is they do light version because they're not sure if it'll sell, and if you want to... Equip accessories, you can just... 
take accessories from the other Nendoroids, I'm, my, uh, my guess is. Seki Ichi, Ichi from uh, Banshi. Rock. So, I don't know. They're getting cracked down too, it's like. <laughs> The ninja uh, figures are like, you can't re cancel your pre orders and blah blah blah. So, yeah, be very careful, guys, when you pre order stuff. Not, not as easy as to cancel or. And they make it hard. I don't know why they're doing that, but. I think. You show up. This. A lot of cough time that you can't act during pre-orders, some pre-orders, and they want to cancel it, and it's still in pre-order, let them cancel it. Yeah. I don't know. It's the last box. I don't know. It's whatever. No bonus hand. And the bonus pack. And Dungeon Dines. If, oh. Uh, Marcelli, I probably put your name. So all these are heroes. But we'll see. I'm kind of excited about it. What if they do Skypea? I like Skypea. I know a lot of people don't like Skypea. I think Anel was a great, great protagonist bad guy. We'll see. And now, Tizad, we really appreciate you for being here. If you're here at the last moment, I really appreciate that. Um, please leave a comment. What Nindoroi is your favorite? What future anime are you excited about? Are you excited about One Piece live action? What arc are you excited? Hopefully, they'll make in One Piece. So let's go ahead and open Zod. Oh, Bragged One. This, um, when they had this on pre-order, I had to pick it up. I was first not gonna do it, but yeah, like Prime One Studios to get, you know, some of these figures is ridiculous. Some Prime One's too expensive, so. <sighs> this thing massive. Woo! Look at this. This thing is huge, guys. Dang. What's the bases? Standard black base. Oh, it's pegged. Normally it's not pegged in. A lot of times it's like stick up in the hole, so. My head was, you gotta stand Zod without, this guy's pretty heavy, without a base. Oh, man. Bubble wrap. Oh, yes. Oh, man, this thing's awesome. I think you can even, yeah, I'm definitely not putting the base to let this thing stand by itself. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. That's my head. <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than my head. But the detail on this is ridiculous. Oh. The guy's horn cut off. I wish they gave you another head with his horn on it. But his head doesn't come off. They made it all solid. Nothing on him moves. His claws, his boots, but he has little holes. See that? Hopefully, everyone will see that. Look at this. This is amazing, man. And the price for it, I think it's like $60, $70. I definitely, if you like Zod, they did a wonderful job in his mouth. You can see his canines, his tongue. The painting's really done well. It's fur, it's a solid color. I think there's like a hint of brown. But they cut in, um, they carved in texture in the texture or the mold had it where you can see fur. And even the feeling is different. And they have 
they even drew lines and cuts in the horns. This is really good. This is this is this is quality. This is a good quality scale figure. And if you want to, if you like Berserk, and you like villains, this is a really good figure. I'm glad I pre-ordered it and I got it. Um, thank you everyone for sticking around. This is Anime Bad Guy. Have a bad day. I mean, good day. Take care. Bye.